What is up guys? It's me Max back again with another guitar tutorial and today we are going to take a look at another Ed Sheeran song from his new album Collaborations Project and this time around we're going to take a look at Put It All On Me featuring Ella May. Beautiful song, very calm, very pretty, but it's super easy to play on guitar. Well, I shouldn't say but, I should say it's calm and therefore, well, Technically, that's not a given, but usually the calmer they are, the easier they are. So, there is no exception here. We've got this melody that you saw me play in the intro of this video, and we've got some chords to accompany those melodic tones. So, that is all we have to take a look at here the chords and what you just saw in the intro. My Instagram is down in the description if you want to talk to me or see what's going on in my life in general, something like that. Feel free to check that out and let's roll. So first of all, let's take a look at those chords because they are the root of the song as pretty much in every song, I guess, chords mostly are that root. So they're pretty simple because we've got three standard chords here and they are pretty much always in the exact same order. We have some slight variations here and there, but nothing too crazy. The first one is an E minor. Second finger goes on to the second fret on the fifth string and third finger goes on to the second fret on the fourth string. We don't have to mute any strings here. We just go down once to check what it should sound like. Our second chord will be a D major. First finger onto the second fret on the third string, second finger onto the second fret on the first string and third finger on the third fret on the second string. Now we have to wrap our thumb around the top of our guitar neck here and mute the sixth and fifth string by slightly touching those two. So we've got E minor, D, and last but not least we've got A, C. First finger onto the first fret on the second string, second finger on the second fret on the fourth string, and third finger on the third fret on the fifth string. Now, once again, we take our thumb, we have to mute the sixth string, but this time around only the sixth string, since we've got our third finger on that third fret on the fifth, and that's the C. So, E minor, D, C. And what do we do with those chords? Well, we start off by going A minor, um, E minor, sorry, D, C. Then we go back onto the D briefly before jumping back onto the E minor, D, C. So, so far we've got We go E minor D that's it we just hold that and then we go back to E minor D C so we pretty much always do E minor D C except for once when we add an additional D and another time where we just leave out the C and that is pretty much what we do throughout this entire song and now the moment you've all been waiting for, at least I hope so, because I think this melody is pretty, pretty gorgeous, even though it's quite simple. And we started off by putting our first finger onto the fifth fret on the first string. Now we pick that once and slide up onto the seventh immediately. Because we could just start off on the seventh and just go, but I think that kind of gives it a more dynamic feel. So we've got this and then we put our third finger onto the tenth on the first string. Now fifth, third finger onto the seventh and first finger onto the third, all on the first string. Now we pick that once more and slide up onto the fifth and go back onto the third. So we go, we wait a bit, and now once again we go fifth to seventh, tenth, fifth, and now seventh twice. 
that's already the first half of this melody. Now we go 5th to 7th, 10th, now 12th with our 3rd finger, and once the 7th. So And now we go 5th to 7th, 10th, 5th, 3rd, and 10th. And that is the entire thing. And that is already the entire song. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop it a thumbs up. Helps me out more than you might think it. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's somewhere down there. And as always, I hope that I will see you guys next time.